Okay, so I've cut a strip at one and a quarter. And what I'm going to do is use this uh, new tool we've created called hide a seam. Okay, so it comes in this one inch set. So the top row of numbers indicate the finished piece and the bottom row of numbers tell you how wide to cut the fabric. Now I want a 5 8 strip to go over the top of this so I've cut my strip at one and a quarter and I'm going to use this one that shows me it's 5 8 okay. I'm also going to do a second strip at a quarter inch and I'll show you how we do that as well. So you don't have to do two strips but you can get the wow factor by doing two. So to use this I've got my little iron plugged in. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue for oh, about an inch, inch and a half down the end of my strip. I'll just press it in half and then press with my fingers to the center and to the center. Okay, so it looks like that. And then I'm going to take it, fold it side up, the writing facing me, and pop it through the bottom hole and then back down into the top. Just hoping my iron is hot enough. I've got a double pin. I'm just going to whack that into the ironing board. Now you just need to keep a bit of tension with your other hand here and then as I slide this along it's folding the fabric for me and I just need to come along with the iron and push. Oops, I went off. So I'm just keeping that bit of tension. Take it all the way, keep the tension. I've got all sorts of threads and fluff going on here. When you're done, you can just move it along, repin and keep going. You don't have to rush, you don't burn your fingers. There we go. That's probably long enough for what I want. Keep going. If you don't keep the tension on it, it's going to falter. So just hold it tight. You can move it back if you need to. Just keep going, keep going, keep going all the way to the end. But fluff keeps coming back. Okay, so that's now ironed at exactly five eighths. And what we're going to do what you can do is then place this over that seam. So if you just wanted one row that's fine and on this one I've done one large row uh, strip I should say with the apricot but for this one I wanted to show you how we can jazz it up a bit. So I'm going to take my second strip which I've cut here at half an inch. I've folded the end exactly the same as I did the other one. I'm going to take the ruler but for this one and only this one all the others we put folded side up. For this one we're going to thread it through folded side down. 
it just works better. There's my pin. So the double pin just helps keep the tension on there. Okay, now what I want to do is where these two lines are each side, like the channel, I want to keep that in the middle of my fabric. So as I push down, I'm watching to keep that in the middle. So I'm just going to push. And there you go. Now if you had to join a piece and you had a seam in there, you simply press the seams in the direction you're pushing the iron. So you wouldn't open it flat, you would just push it in the same direction as you're pushing your iron. So bring it back, just watch that's in the centre and push. Just give it a bit of tension. You don't have to rush, you can take your time. It works with your big iron as well as a small one. I really like this board, it's quite sturdy. And then just pick it up and do the next bit. easy as that. Okay, I've got a tiny bit left. We might as well do the whole lot. Got that little bit of salvage on the end as well, which I'm not too worried about. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I want I thought I had a scissors here. No, I don't. That's okay. I want to put my five eighths down here. I'll just pin it to the board. And I want to put, let's just put another pin in there to hold things. I want to put my quarter inch on top. But in order to do that, I want to sew the two strips together first. So for that, we've created another template. Um, we've actually got two and that's called Stitch Assist. So this you're going to work with on your sewing machine. We have a 5 8 to 1 inch and a quarter inch to 5 8 So this is my quarter inch to 5 8 And this is actually done the same way. This is a 1 inch with the 5 8 on top. And that can look quite smart too like if I was to put that down there between those two it looks quite yummy. You could also do three layers so if you wanted you could have your quarter inch on top of your five eighths and then you could put the five eighths on top of the inch. So it would look something like that. Okay. So the two sewing assists is going to help stitch these two together in one go, no stress. I love that, don't you love that? 
and sew two straight lines down each side. So I'm going to take this to the machine. All you need is your quarter inch foot. I'm going to re-thread back into my apricot colour thread and I'm going to join these two together.